Hi everybody, welcome to my session today of Native American flute playing. Uh, sorry for the delay, I was having some technical problems connecting to Facebook Live, but it seems that it's working now. If, uh, if not, let me know, but I think the sound should be okay and the camera as well. Um, before I start playing flute, I want to tell you something about my path with Native American flute and um, I want to tell you something about this beautiful instrument and how I use it for healing um, in my sessions and, and uh, all the work I do with this instrument. Okay, so my name is Belen. I am from Spain and I have been living in the UK for about eight years now. Um, the first time I played Native American flute uh, was um, 2008 when I attended a Native American flute workshop in my birthplace in Madrid. Um, I always had a strong connection with the, with the flute in general. Since I was a child I always wanted to play flute and I learned to play the recorder. Uh, later um, I, I learned to play uh, the tin whistle. But when I listened to the Native American flute for the first time on the radio when I was a teenager, I felt something very deep inside my soul. I felt it was my instrument and one day I was going to play it. And I didn't know how because, well, I thought it's, a, it's an instrument from Native Americans and maybe I have to go to North America to learn to play it, but we'll see. One day it will come to me. So then when I saw that workshop in Madrid years later, um, uh, I thought that was a great opportunity for me to, to learn to play Native American flute. So after the workshop I, I got a flute, uh, then I, I got two more later and for a while I was playing on and off while I was traveling around the world because I have been very nomadic, living in many different places. And yes, I always had my flute with me. Mm, playing in nature, playing in different places where I was. Um, and it was a hobby for me uh, for many years. It was just a hobby I was playing on my own. I didn't dare to play in front of people. Uh, I was very private with my flute. I, I didn't want other people to listen to me because I thought, no, I can't play very well. Uh, but I, I always found that uh, every time I played, I felt very relaxed, very connected, very um, grounded and, and it was always helping me in any moment of my life when there were difficult situations and emotions. I found the flute very useful for uh, helping me to release the emotions to, to connect to myself again. So um, it was about three years ago when things changed uh, and yes I started to play maybe a bit before maybe Maybe five years ago I started to play with people and in front of people, not much, but every now and then. But it was especially three years ago when I moved to Bristol, or three years and a half ago, when uh, something happened. Like uh, There were opportunities coming to me to play flute uh, in yoga classes, in meditation sessions, in festivals. Uh, and then uh, there were people asking me to give workshops and I thought, well, I don't know if I can give a workshop, but I can try. I created a meetup group in Bristol, uh, it's the Bristol Flute Circle, and then I started to give very basic workshops of just one hour to teach the basic things so then people could learn and then get a flute and then we, we can play together in the Flute Circle. And then what happened is that this, um, I, I was feeling more and more that I have to work with sound healing. So then I did a sound therapy training in Spain, I did an intensive training, residential, for two weeks, and uh, that was amazing for me, is when I felt that that was my path. Uh, so the Native American flute took me to my path of sound healing. In the um, in this training, I didn't um, learn anything about Native American flute, it was about the voice, uh, tuning forks, and Tibetan balls, but all the things I learned in that uh, training, uh, I applied for the Native American flute as well. Um, yeah, so then I created a website of uh, a website of uh, Native American flute, another website of sound therapy, 
and I started to give uh, like proper workshops, longer workshops of four hours, four groups. I also started to do sound journeys with different people, musicians and sound therapists in Bristol. And I, um, I started to do one-to-one -one sound therapy sessions. So this was growing more and more and yes, and I'm very happy that these days I'm following the path of my heart, mainly with Native American flutes, but also voice and other instruments. And another thing I, I is very important in my path is uh, nature connection. I studied uh, environmental biology when I was younger, and also I, I also did a master of ecotourism because I really love traveling. So for me, nature is essential for healing, and I need nature. I need nature, and and, uh, and also I feel that it's going to be more important in my life because I will move to the countryside soon, and I will live in a community. So. Um, I always encourage people to play flute outdoors because it's the best way, uh, you know, when you are in nature and you can connect with nature through the music, you can, uh, I feel, you know, when I play outdoors that there is kind of communication with the animals that are there, like the birds sing louder, sometimes it's like they want to sing with your flute, um, um, also with the trees, I feel a strong connection. If you think about it, you know, the Native American flute is a wooden instrument, it's made uh, uh, from the wood of a tree, so somehow the spirit of the tree is in the flute. And uh, yes, it's another way of connecting with nature, you know, with the, through the trees, um, using, I mean, using the Native American flute, you know, to, to connect with the spirits of the trees. And, and um, well, uh, I, I'm going to take one of my flutes, so then I'm going to show you. Uh, yes. So this is one of my first flutes. It's the second one I, I bought. This is from Spain, from a, a flute maker in Spain made it. Um, and it's in F. So, um, well, I want to tell you something about the Native American flute, so then you understand uh, more about the instruments because maybe some of the ones who are listening to me now don't know anything about Native American flute. Uh, and this is not a workshop, this is a, just a demonstration uh, and I will tell you some basic things and if you are interested in learning more you can connect with me, you can come to one of my workshops when I, when I can give them ag again or you can uh, have a one-to-one -one session with me. So um, the Native American flute is uh, an instrument from the Native American Indians. Uh, the ones we have these days are, are like the modern version of those ones. Of course, they are not exactly the same. Um, it's a very ancestral instrument. Um, the scale is pentatonic, so this is one of the reasons um, why it's so uh, easy to play. Uh, other instruments, for example, a recorder. Um, uh, uh, they have um, a diatonic scale, so it's seven notes. So it's more difficult to play, and you have to be careful with the combination of notes. If you don't play well, maybe the, it's not going to sound good. But the, the instruments that are pentatonic, they have five notes in the scale, are much easier to play. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. So this means that um, most of the things you play uh, with the Native American flute um, is going to sound nice uh, as long as you follow the rule of the scale. But I can tell you later about this flute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some water. <laughs> mm. Okay, so. <coughs> I have a picture here, I want to show you about the uh, structure of the Native American flute, so, you, the, so then you can understand how it works. But the <coughs> what happened is that this is a flute made uh, with two chambers, there are two chambers. The first chamber is the um, um, a slow breath chamber, and uh, the second chamber is the sound chamber. <coughs> so what happens is that when you blow into the flute, and more than blowing into the flute, I prefer to say breathing into the flute because you have to be very gentle with the flute, you don't have to blow too hard, otherwise 
you can make a sound that is not good. So when you uh, breathe into the flute, you introduce the air, then the air is traveling from the first chamber to the second one and in between there is a, a narrow channel the name is flu and the, the air is slowing down when it's passing through the flu and then what happened here uh, there is a splitting edge and the splitting of the air is happening there so it's in the it's like an edge that is in the sound hole and what happened is that some of the air is traveling down to the um, sound chamber and some of the air is coming up and then in that place where the, the air is splitting is where the sound is here so then uh, if you play in front of a microphone you you will have to put the microphone here in the sound hole because the air is coming the sound is coming from here so then another thing is the totem that you can see in the picture the totem of lock and is <coughs> here in this flute so the totem uh, of lock is very important it has to be in the right position so then you get a clear sound um, so every time you start playing flute you have to make sure that it is in the right position you will have to move the totem up and down until you have the right sound the sound is clear no? for example this flute <coughs> I'm going to I'm going to play first without covering the holes. I only covered this hole because mm, the flute is the Native American flute is pentatonic, so five holes. You only need five holes. Many flutes these days have six because the flute makers think I will make an extra hole. So when the person is more experienced, they can play all the scales. So mm, it's good to have one for, of six holes if you want to play all the scales. But the basic the scale is the pentatonic and this, this is the one for beginners so I, I always cover this hole when I play the pentatonic so I can make the sound now and see if it's clear if not I will have to move the token if I go too much, too much up the sound is not good if I go too much down it's not good either then I have to go somewhere in between, like above the yes here of the sound hole, a little bit above. Now I cover the first three holes. I don't know if you can see me. And then I cover the other holes. It's very important when you cover the holes in the Native American flute that you use the pad, that is the flat part of the finger. Because if you use the tip, maybe you leave some gap and then the air is going to escape through this gap and the sound is not good. So you always have to be careful with that. This is the one of the <coughs> problems that uh, people who come to my workshops uh, face when they are starting to play that they forget about this. No? That, uh, they put the tip of the finger and then um, if you are not careful, then you are not covering the hole properly. So covering the hole properly is very important. Also the way you place the fruit in the mouth is not very much inside, it's more like resting on the lower lip and with the top lip you still around and uh, always breathing very gentle into the flute. Breathing is essential in flute playing in general, in all the flute playing, but in Native American flute because it's a very simple instrument, with the breath you can um, make different effects and ornaments and techniques is through the breath so it's very important that you have a good diaphragm control and then you can use your breath for all these effects uh, I'm going to play for you this uh, flute so you can hear uh, that is uh, one of my good uh, playing uh, like a song uh, I'm going to play and I'm going to improvise a song I, I usually improvise because I I think it's more um, authentic. Uh, sometimes I play uh, songs that I created, but playing from the heart is improvising. It's that when you just uh, let it go and you are not in your mind and you just allow the creativity to to express through the flute. Okay, so yeah, I invite you to close your eyes if you 
voice because it's uh, better for receiving the good music. And then I start playing for you. This was my Spanish flute. <laughs> I hope you like it. Yes, and I think I said to you before this flute is in F. Every flute, every Native American flute is in a key. But this is the lowest note you can play on that flute. And also, when you uncover the holes, all the holes of the flute, then you play the same note, but it's the next one in the octave. It's the high one. No? Um, yeah, so uh, for the key, if you are a beginner and you never played flute before, I recommend you to go for a key that is um, not very low because otherwise it's going to be very long flute and it's going to be more difficult to reach the holes. So maybe you can go for an A, G, or F. They are the ones, the best ones for the beginners. Um, I have one here that is very small, short. This is even higher than A, this is a B. And this is quite high pitch 
I can play this so then you can hear the sound. Maybe it's not the best one for meditation, maybe for meditation you would prefer a low uh, flute. Uh, but I say that they are difficult to play. If it's uh, very low, like for example a B or C, that they are very beautiful and deep sound, but if you are not used to play flute, you are going to find difficult <coughs> to cover the holes, <coughs> to reach the holes because they are going to be, there is going to be a distance between holes, you know, and maybe it's too big for you. And also if you have a small hands, it's even more difficult. So try to go for a high flute when you are a beginner. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit of this one that is quite high. I'm going to play in a way that is more rhythmic, like more lively, more like traditional Native American style, and maybe you can play with a drum. <coughs> this is another flute maker, Guillermo Martinez from me. Uh, he's uh, in California. Yes, I, met, I met him in a um, festival, in a flute festival last year, and he gave me this beautiful flute. I'm going to play it for you now. This one as well. Well, um, I I want to say that Native American food for me is more than a musical instrument. I always say this in my workshops. It's a healing tool for me. It's a, um, an instrument or tool that will help you to transmute your emotions. Um, sometimes it's difficult to identify our emotions. They can be very um, deep inside of us, uh, maybe we don't feel good, we don't know what is going on. So the Naked American food will help you to bring these emotions to the surface. And you can play with that intention. I always recommend you to play food with an intention. Every time you start playing, close your eyes, connect with your heart, 
and set an intention for your playing, what you want to um, express, what you need to release, what you need to um, say, maybe you want to say a prayer to your feet. So um, many times I found myself that if I need to express an emotion that is stuck inside of me, the flute helped me to bring this emotion up, just bring it up to your face. Um, Playing for meditation is great, you know, for calm your mind, you feel grounded, you feel relaxed. So, it's a very beautiful instrument for that, for you if you are playing for you, but also for others who are listening to you and they want to meditate. For me, sometimes it's difficult to meditate because my mind is, has, there are many, many thoughts coming. But if I play flute, I am focusing the flute playing and then my mind is quiet. So, this is a very good way of meditating meditating that is playing flute or playing an instrument you can do it with another instrument but for me Native American flute is the best way of meditation um, my mind is always quiet when I play and I am in the space of the heart uh, instantly I don't have to make an effort it's, it's taking me there always I'm going to play another flute that is very special <coughs> this one is a drone flute it's a double flute you see there are two flutes in one so one of the flute is I mean, like a normal flute with the, all the holes and the other one makes the drone sound that is a constant sound is all the time the same you can choose to play both or only one of them so you can play like a single flute or double this is a very nice flute for meditation and I, I like to play it in my sound journeys always it's one of the favorite ones for people who listen to me so I'm going to do this flute meditation for you now with the drone flute so I invite you to close your eyes and sit down in a comfortable position and you can put an intention for this flute meditation something you want to get in your life or something you want to transform whatever is needed inside of you okay?
So if you have your eyes closed and if you were doing the meditation, you can start coming back and breathing, bring your body, feeling back in this space, in this moment, and feeling the effects of the flute music in your body, in your mind in the soul. You can open your eyes when you are ready. I hope you enjoyed this melody, this is a song I created. I did a version of the song, I didn't I didn't do it exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I always play a little different every time. But this song is in my uh, flute album, uh, Dreaming into Nature, but I can put the link for you, you are interested in listening to it. And this fruit is a, it has the eagle that is my power animal, or one of my power animals, the most important one for me. And uh, my friend uh, Nick, who is an amazing fruit maker here in the UK, I really recommend you his fruit. He makes the fruit for my workshops. And uh, he made fruit for many of my students. Yes, I, mean, I, I really like to work with him, so he made this amazing fit for me. I'm very grateful for this video. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, I don't know if I can say something else about the fruit because there is a lot to say. I can say many things. It's better to do a workshop or a lesson to learn more. But of course, if you are interested in learning, you can connect with me. I can give you advice about getting a flute, I can put you in contact with flute makers that I know. Um, and yes, and if you are interested, you can also you can also subscribe to my mailing list if you go to my website. Because if you do that you can download a free guide of Native American flute. So you can have your first introduction to the Native American flute and read my guide. And in the guide I explain a, a few things about the flute the history, the origins, the, um, uh, how, how to choose the right flute for you, how to take care of the flute, I uh, explain about the scale. And then if you do one of my workshops or, or flute lessons, you can uh, get a, a manual. I send always a manual, a very detailed manual with everything about the Native American flute. There are exercises to practice the scale. There are, um, yes, a lot of the information, this out of information about the benefits of playing flute, about breathing as well, that is essential in flute playing, and I give some breathing exercises that you can practice and they can help you in your playing. And also the ornaments and effects that you can use for playing beautiful melodies. And yes, and also about the rhythm and ways to play flute and Yes, and I also send several links when I send the manual links to YouTube videos that can help you in your practice and some websites with a lot of information of Native American flute. And you can also be part of my uh, flute circle in Bristol. So this is something good if you want to meet other flute players and play together in community. Uh, I'm going to play another of my flutes. This is a flute. Uh, that someone made for me in uh, white cedar uh, wood and uh, I decorated myself, I did the decoration so it's something I enjoyed a lot because I like drawing so I thought why not decorating one of my flutes so I did it with burning into the wood so yes I put my intention in the decoration as well like you can see here a home that is for all my relations this is a Lakota uh, saying no? that is very important for them. And for me, this is a fruit for, for prayers. It's, uh, it's very special for prayers, for sending prayers wherever they have to go, when my heart needs to express something. Or sometimes you need to be heard and maybe you need to express something to someone who is not going to listen to you. Uh, maybe the words are not going to be useful, but you can do it. 
through the flute, the flute is the flute is magical. You can use it for your prayers. You can use it to communicate to another soul. You know, if there is another a person that you need to express something, you can't say it in, in the physical world. You can't say the words, but you can use flute music to communicate with the soul of the person. You can communicate with your soul, with your heart, you know, through the flute as well. So I'm going to play another melody with this flute. I hope you enjoy it. You can close your eyes again if you wish. like this flute is in a uh, key F. Well, I want to show you another flute where I put my energy, my, my intention in making it. This time it was more because it was not only the decoration, I make a flute. Um, this is a river cane flute. I make it in Spain. It's the first flute I ever, I ever made. Uh, and it's uh, another thing that is very beautiful making your own flutes because it is nice to play a flute with an intention it's amazing you know you can also make your own flute with an intention and when i made this flute i i was having a difficult time so i said i'm going to make this flute for my healing for healing my heart and also my intention is that every person who listen to this flute and if they need healing for their heart, they also get this healing. So I make it with that intention. And the thing is that when I finished making the flute, I, I could feel the energy. It was so powerful. It's really healing. It's very ancestral and very, it's a very, very much from the heart and for the heart. And I call this flute Vuelo del Alma, it's in Spanish, it's Flight of the Soul. Um, Yes, because for me it's like a way to, to 
free myself, you know, from all the problems, all the burdens, all the things that make me feel sad or angry. Or so I feel free when I play this flute, you know. I feel like I'm, I, I feel like I am flying, you know. My soul is flying. This is the flight of the soul, and I get a healing I need from my heart. So I'm going to play a melody for you with this flute, and I hope you feel. In the, the healing from hell is a very special place. So you can close your eyes. You can put, you can place your hands in your heart if you please, to connect your heart while you are listening.
hope you enjoyed it and I hope you felt the music in your heart what I was playing I put that intention for for you if you need healing for your heart um, well we are getting to the end of my session unfortunately I was enjoying it <laughs> and thank you so much for listening to me for connecting with me today in this festival and thank you for thank you to the organizers of the festival to Sally and Lynn thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to um, express my gifts to others and to uh, connect with others and I hope that some of you will uh, connect with me somehow maybe for a flute lesson, a sound journey, a retreat but, um, we are going to do a retreat soon by the way if you are interested you can check my Facebook page I will put all the details uh, of websites and uh, the album the, um, um, Facebook pages, Instagram, everything and also the YouTube channel I have many videos on the YouTube channel and during the lockdown because I, I couldn't do my events as usual I was um, creating new videos and uh, some of them in nature playing in nature in the, in the park near where I live and I hope you like them so I'm going to say goodbye with the last um, flute uh, melody it's going to be short because there is not much time left and this is a, a bamboo flute it's a different style, Sim well, similar to the one I, I played before, the same style but different than the others that I uh, was playing and it's a very nice flute the name of the flute is Celebration of Life, I really like this flute, very special so I say goodbye with this flute today thank you again uh, blessings to you all and, yes, and I hope you find the music in your heart and, Maybe one day you'll have your own flute and play. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.